And we're shifting our focus uh, to Maharashtra, the unfortunate death of two people due to the civic apathy in India's financial capital. Mumbai has resonated in the Maharashtra Assembly today with BJP MLA from uh, suburban Mumbai calling for action to be taken in the matter now significantly while the police has booked the driver of the dumper uh, who ran over the victims uh, but uh, so far no civic official or uh, the contractor have been booked in this case. बोल रहा हूँ कि कोई तो दिखा है रोड पे किसी को तो दिखा है रोड इतने लोग गिरते मरते सरकार को कुछ फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता है नहीं पड़ता है नहीं पड़ता है कितने टाइम से बारिश खत्म होने आ गई बारिश के स्टार्टिंग से चल रहे हैं अच्छा कल भी दो लोगों की मौत हुई है यहाँ पे हमेशा परसों परसों के दिन मेरा बहुत गाड़ी खड़े में जाता है ऊपर नीचे होता है कभी कभी गिर भी जाते हैं बहुत हाँ बहुत खड़े हैं लेकिन एक्सीडेंट वगैरह होते हैं यहाँ पे हाँ होता है एक दो तीन बार गिर भी गए थे उधर दो बार बाइक वाले स्कूटी वाले गिर गए थे हाँ और जनरली आप यहाँ पे ट्रैवल करते हैं आज खड़े आपको कम महसूस हो रहे हैं रोज जितने ही आज थोड़ा कम है लेकिन रोज इससे ज्यादा रहते हैं रोज ज्यादा रहता है आज कम है क्या कहना चाहेंगे आप लोग वो खड्डे के हिसाब से सर सब देखना चाहिए बराबर सब लोग का क्योंकि इतना सब क्या बोलते हैं हवलदार ट्रैफिक वाले सब चेक करते हैं वो सब से वो लोग भी ध्यान देना चाहिए now, while the Aam Aadmi suffers, politics has peaked over the killer potholes with BJP leader Ram Kadam accusing the Uddhav Camp Sena-led Mumbai civic body of misgovernance and inaction which has resulted in this tragedy. Mumbai is still in the city of Mumbai. The people of Mumbai have been killed by a family of a family. Who is the responsibility of the death of the family? बीएमसी के रास्तों पर खड्डे क्यों हैं? यह अंतरराष्ट्रीय शहर कहलाता है किसी की मौत के बाद हम कोई राजनीति नहीं करना चाहते पर बीएमसी में जिनकी सत्ता थी क्या उनका यह दायित्व नहीं है कि कम से कम मुंबई जैसे शहर में सड़कें अच्छी बने रास्तों पर गड्ढे न पड़े हजारों करोड़ों रुपए खर्च किए गए उसके बावजूद भी हर साल मुंबई में गड्ढे होते हैं और इन गड्ढों को भरने के लिए उस पर करोड़ों रुपए खर्च किया जाता है पर सारी बातें केवल कागज पर होती है बुनियादी कोई काम नहीं होता भ्रष्टाचार और भ्रष्टाचार इसी के कारण मुंबई जैसे शहर में सड़कों के ये हाल है यह मौत यह कुदरती मौत नहीं है ये हत्या है और हत्यारे मुंबई महानगर पालिका में 30 साल से जिन्होंने राज किया वे लोग इसके हत्यारे हैं अंकित जॉइन दिस लाइव ऑन द ब्रॉडकास्ट फॉर मोर ऑन दिस अंकित uh, you know the governments keep changing the goal posts of politicians keep changing but what doesn't change is the state of infrastructure especially in uh, some of the biggest cities in the country like mumbai Yes, you are absolutely right. The financial capital of this country, but in the financial capital, people are not even getting a basic facility, which is the, they are, they are not even getting a basic facility of a roads. Currently, I'm standing on the bridge where accident took place yesterday around 1.20. I would like to mention you, yesterday around at 9 o'clock, we, uh, we were on the ground and we were doing a ground reporting. Uh, in the yesterday night, there was a, uh, there was a big, uh, big port, potholes on this road. But after that, around 3 o'clock in the night, uh, MMRDA people came over here and they repaired this road but I would like to show you the road as well you can see uh, yeah, yesterday around 3 to 4 o'clock in the night they repaired this road but again they are miserably failed because within a span of 20, 20 uh, within a span of 12 hours there are more than 15 potholes on this road you can see there are 15 potholes, more than 15 to 20 potholes on this road within a span of 12 hours. They are not even ready. They, they are not even provided uh, the safety of 12 hours to the people. Uh, as you can see, they are completely there. Uh, again, there are completely the bags also over there, uh, which uh, for in the night they were repairing this road, but they are miserably. 
fail in the financial capital of this country. So, the, who is responsible for this? Who is responsible? We travel across the Dahisar as well. And apart from that, uh, from Granda to Dahisar, we travel. They only repair this only uh, say this bridge. But apart from that, behind this, there is one more bridge. And apart from that, there is one more bridge. That that uh, that port hole, port holes, it's still not repaired. So when people die, that time only this, they repair this uh, repair all these uh, roads. But what about where people are not? What about other roads that uh, which are not repaired? Are they waiting? Are they waiting for that? The people again the accident uh, took a place and then they can go into repair uh, all the roads. Who is responsible for that? Back to you. Okay, that's the big question that we are asking. That how many lives do we have to uh, lose more in order for the authorities to wake up and give us our basic rights, such as you know, good roads. And that is Ankit getting us a ground report there once again, uh, showing our viewers what exactly we're talking about, bad roads, bad infrastructure, especially at a time uh, such as a monsoons. Ankit, thank you so much for getting us all that information.